All right. Hey, Shalom. You know, we're going to start off here with this uh, Shabbat, you know, lesson going on tonight just to get into the prophecies and all. But first, want to give all praises to Yahweh. The bonus to the apostles, that was a great millstone. Peace and blessings to the sons of Yakim. You know, all the world, Shalom, keep pushing. You know, Shabbat Shalom. Well, hey, like I'm saying, we're going to get into it, man. The prophecies, as usual, you know, the, the prophecy of doom, right back at it again. And, you know, as you see, uh, I don't know if you've been keeping up with the news, but DC is a damn, uh, pretty like a small war zone going out there right now. You got uh, Antifa, BLM, and the uh, so-called Patriots of America out there brawling, fighting. You got stabbing going on. You know, so you got a small-time civil war going on right now, which is only going to uh, spill over to the rest of the cities and states. But it's a wicked-ass place known as Babylon. But if I can get that uh, second Ezra 9. Okay. This is uh, second Ezra 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said... Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, yeah. You got to be measuring the time diligently. You should see that uh, all hell getting ready to come down. You know, the vaccines dropping tomorrow in states. You know, you, you got the the soft civil war going on right now you know all hell is getting ready to break loose the great reset around the corner next three to four months down the road if not sooner and then uh, you already got uh jake your, your best bud joe biden always talking what well, he said in the first 100 days he gonna do that gun control so hey they getting ready to get on with the show man you know he so he don't be ready for his blessing you know, and he see you as uh, so-called Negro Latinos and Americans in the fucking way of getting what he want to get, you know. So you about to get mowed down and whatever kind of down, you know. You keep on up. Hey, every all these agendas out here, every road leading to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans getting the, the brunt end of the business. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproar to the people in the world, then shalt yeah. thou well oh. oh yeah, you can't. Yeah, you know, you know, earthquakes. If you go on the uh, the earthquake uh, website, I forget the exact name of the website, but you can see it's all kind of earthquakes going on all over the world constantly. You know, just because it don't get reported, don't mean it's not happening or happened somewhere. You know, so the whole earth is rumbling. You know, and then you got the people, you know, they at a boiling point. They uh all in Germany, they rejecting the lockdowns. You know, they roaring, they protesting. You know, so hey, I guess keep on up. Okay. Then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So yeah, all this was written beforehand, man, way before. You know, and it's all coming to a head right now. And, you know, and the, the Most High is getting ready to send his son back to, to finish it off. You know, all this is uh, just loosening it up and, and working right now. You know, ma making it soft for him to come back and finally finish off this uh, wicked-ass society known as Babylon, you know, and he's a wicked-ass kingdom. You know, not, yeah. not just America, not just Germany, France, Spain, one. wherever the main places of Esau you know, rulership, you know, he about to fuck all that up right now. Pardon my French, you know. <laughs> all right, you can go whatever you brothers got. Uh, Elder, you want to go? Yeah, this is uh, Luke 21, 36. And it says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Okay, yeah, you want to be counted worthy, man. You want to try to, you know, start doing all the work you can do. You can, you know, stay meditating on these scriptures, these prophecies, you know, staying away from all manners of wickedness. You know, you want to be counted worthy in that day because, yeah, I was shy. He's coming. I know these uh, cricket dog ass uh, preachers been saying all day, like, oh, it's the end of the world, the end of the world, you know, but they didn't know these signs that. 
You know, they didn't have the prophecies. They didn't know the breakdowns to actually know when the Most High is getting ready to send his son back. But man, the Lord, the GMS, we know, you know, like I said, we we know it pro you know, in prophesying part, we don't know exact day and hour. But hey, like I said, we've been measuring the time and we can see he's getting real near according to what he's been saying in the scriptures. You got some, Kaya? Yeah, I got some. This is um X chapter 17 and verse 31. It says, because he had, <clears throat> I'm going to read 30. At the times of this ignorance, Yahweh winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent because he had appointed a day in which he would judge the world and righteousness by that man whom he had ordained. Right, yeah, he been telling, you know, he, he sent us out here, you know, we back in our lot, telling you uh, so-called Negro Latinos and Negro Americans, man, you know, repent, turn back from your wicked ways, you know, you know, keep the law, statutes, commandments that you've been, that you made a deal with, you know, that you, you're breaking your part of the bargain, and, but y'all say, no, nah, hell no, nah. you know, y'all, y'all don't think he, uh, coming back, you know, that he's not gonna send his son back, y'all just gonna sit here and just, uh, hang up on the Caesar all your damn life, but that ain't the case, man. You know, uh, Caesar can't save you for what's coming. You know, he, he can't even save himself. You know, so, man, the Lord, we are uh, telling you week in and week out. Time running out. You know, eventually we ain't gonna be out, out here on the highways and byways and telling you that. You know? That the Lord hand is not slack. Mm -hmm. Concerning those, those, uh, concerning those things that's been written a full time, man, because uh, not only have the uh, the warning have come out before, um, you know, in the, in the scriptures, you know, you had around all your life. He even raised up the prophets to warn his people. So, I mean, there's nothing else you could really do to like, what else could I do to not um, execute judgment upon on the people, man? Because I gave y'all my prophets, I gave y'all the word, I gave y'all uh, a, a substantial amount of time to repent and correct yourself. You see, that's why it says it's commanded for all men everywhere to repent, man. You know, to go off from, you know, from from uh, getting destruction, man. Go out of the ways, you know, of wickedness and come to righteousness to avoid destruction. But Jake Hall hated it. They ain't going to learn, bro. All these signs in the earth. All these wonders, the signs in the in the moons, the the the, the blood moons. All right, the I mean, all right, prophecy fulfilling mm -hmm. itself. The chip, the the vaccines. This is a trillion prophecies in front Jake face, though. Yeah, Jake wouldn't hawk it. He ain't gonna listen. But y'all got it out. Yeah, you know that's Jake, man. Like you say, refuse to listen, man. Because you yeah. know, you know when we say uh, Yahweh is coming back, you know, coming back for the nation of Israel. You know, we're going to have the kingdom of heaven. You know, Jake just he crack a smile. Like, oh, that sound good. But when you say, hey, you know, Joe Biden, he got elected, man. He our next president. Jake jumped for the damn sky, man. You know, he like all smiles. He see life looking better for him, you know. You know, so our people just lost, man. They, they like being fucking slaves under this system, you know. But hey, like you're saying, we didn't told you time at the time what the deal was. So you can't be like, oh, well, we ain't never heard the word. You walk by, you laugh and scorn and all that. But now the way tides is turning, you're going to be mourning weeping real soon. Because, uh, you know, the rent, what you call it, uh, the rent, something about the rent supposed to expire this month in New Orleans, December 30th. Moratorium, yeah, that's going to expire. So, hey, ain't number bad times coming for the nation of Israel, man. You know, it's just going to get worse year after year. Well, I wouldn't even say year, month after month now. You know, it's getting that tight now. Let me get that uh, that proverbs. I got one um, real fast. Yeah, I was I was holding one up. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whoever. It don't matter whoever. You. I, I can go real fast, real quick. Okay. This is, this is Ephesians uh, five and fourteen. It says, "Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, arise from the dead." And Amasiah shall take shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, render rendering the time, because the days are evil. Where be 
Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understand what is the will of the Lord is. Come on, yeah, Jake. You know, arise out of sleep. You know, wake up. You like a walking dead around here. You know, you don't you don't see what's going on. You know, you you still in the BSing, still uh, just riding by. You know, Carondelet, not paying attention. You know, you still looking for the next club. But hey, little do you know, you know, Yahweh Shah, he's right around the corner, man. You know, he, he's coming back. He ain't coming back to talk it out with you, to give you one more chance. You know, once he cracked them clouds, that's it. It's sealed, man. You know, it ain't no more talking. Ain't no more pleading with Jake. You know, ain't no more. Uh, he going to be a, a soft shoulder no more. It's going to be straight killing. And, and that's what he's coming back to do. If, mm -hmm. if, if I can make a quick point in Second Peter three and nine, where it says that some men count slackness, the word there is bradu. I think it's bradu, which means stupid and slow to apprehend or believe, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Guess it. what it say? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stupid, <laughs> slow to apprehend or believe. That's what it say when men count slackness, man. You got it. Yeah, you know, but hey, that's our people, especially the Southern Kingdom. They just want to sit here another three, four hundred years, waiting on handouts, waiting on more government handouts, you know, uh, more Section 8 vouchers and all this kind of bull. But hey, all that's going to run out here real soon because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Sleazy E, his, uh, his whole system about to implode right now. You know, the real Great Reset. Is on the way, you know, where it's gonna be a reset of righteousness and not wickedness no more, you know, and that, and that would and that would kill Jake, burns him to the core, man. He, he you know, Jake don't want to uh be righteous, he just want to go off forever. But hey, even that's coming to an end, Jake, you ain't gonna even have a choice in the kingdom to go off, you know. He's like saying, these laws and statute commands are gonna be in your inward parts, so hey. Everything's about to come to a head. And, you know, man, the Lord, you know, we loving it. But we know our people, they uh, they hiss. They want to spit. They want to, you know, throw rocks, pull knives. But ain't nothing you could do about it. It's already set in stone. Let me get that out of that proverb. Yeah, I was holding one that. Okay, go, go, go for it. Up. Okay, okay. Hey, just to back up what you said earlier, you tell Jake, you tell Jake that salvation's coming and that Yahweh Shah is going to crack the clouds and Esau's going to go out of power. And Jake will give you that little sly smirk, like, oh, yeah, that sounds good. Shalom. Mm -hmm. the same time when they hear uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Terrace have won the election, and that's where their real hearts at, that they're waiting to get those new stimulus checks and for everything to go back to normal. But hey, you're about to see that. Uh, Sleepy Joe's got something else in store for you, Jigs, with that first hundred days. As the brother was saying, the government benefits are going to get cut off soon. And then that moratorium for uh, paying your rent's going to get cut off. And what's so wicked about QBE is that, that you're going to have to pay all that rent back that you didn't pay over those months. So it's about to get real uh, desperate and desolate out here. And you're going to be looking for the men in that day. But at that point, it's going to be too late for you. This is the... Uh, mm -hmm. Ezekiel 33, I'm going to start at 30. Also thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the wall and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, everyone to his brother saying, come, I pray you and hear what is the word that cometh forth from Yahweh. And they come unto thee as the people cometh and they sit before thee as my people and they hear thy words but they will not do them for with their mouth. They show much love, but with their heart, they go with after their covetousness. No, oh, man. Yeah, that's what they do. You know, they come in, stop by the camp, you know, uh, you know, that sound good. Oh yeah. The streets going to be made with gold. Oh yeah. Yeah. That sound good. You know, and they'd be like, Oh, well, y'all going to be here next week. And the man just disappear. You know, you don't see him no more, <laughs> you know? I got hey. one to back up, back up what you're saying too. Yeah, no, I really got two of them. I got one to back up what you just said though. 
Okay, all right. And then, you know, and, and we see it time at the time. You know, Jake, he can he put, try to put, think he put that mouthpiece on us, but we see through you, Jake. You know, you're just fooling yourself, bro. You know, we, we see in it all. Jake got the same old line, just a different face, man. So you ain't doing nothing new. You, you go ahead out with yours. Titus 1 and 16, they profess that they know Yahweh, but in works they deny him, being abominable, disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. Mm. You know? <laughs> Damn, you, gotta, that, you gotta be serious about this thing, man. You gotta not only in 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 uh lip service, you gotta do it indeed, man. We're coming down to the final seconds where you know uh a decision is gonna be made for you, man. You're gonna get down with the Lord or you're gonna die, man. Period, mm -hmm. man. You know, we come into a phase after what I believe it's January the 20th. You know, if we even make it to January 20th. Okay. You know, man, hey, it's on, man. You're going into another chapter, another phase of the establishment of this so-called new world order, man. All right? The E is setting up. He's only going to get more uh, uh, wicked there, man. She's mm -hmm. going to be all, more and more raw out here. Go ahead, Doc. Yeah, and lately, you know, that's past week or so, you know, big-time uh, talk radio host, he been... Uh, pushing trump to say uh because he claims trump listen to his uh his station his show all the time and saying trump has to declare martial law that's the only way he's gonna be able to turn this election you know from this fraudulent election and uh you know for the past two two weeks and all he's been talking is martial law or the insurrection act so hey they yeah. just prime getting them buzzwords priming the people up because that's what's about to happen and I heard the NDA National Defense Authorization Act, which is the NDD NDAA Act. I haven't heard mm -hmm. them say that about four times already on the news, man. Mm -hmm. Nobody looks up what they're talking about. Which is going into basically it's like a it's a, it's like a uh it's like a what they call it, a patriarch on steroids, man. Basically they mm -hmm. deem they deem you uh terrorist, man. If you got the Bible in your home, you got you got three, uh, more than three boxes of ammo. All right, you got more. You got more than one gun. You got a garden in your lawn. Got a garden in your backyard. You storing up. Uh, uh, you storing up rainwater. You're a terrorist, man. All right, mm -hmm. you gonna get put into these camps without due process. You can't even get a lawyer, man. All right, they're gonna, they're gonna bring you to somewhere like uh, Guantanamo, the Guantanamo Bay somewhere, and you're gonna be no one can be able to contact you. Nobody will even know that you're alive, man. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah. and we know. You know, through the spirit, we know that Esau, he gearing up for the man of the Lord for that act. You know, he looking to disappear us mainly because, you know, you you everyday pee on the head, Jake's man. He know y'all simple. You know, he can lay you down. You ain't got nothing going on. But the real target is the prophets on the highways and byways. You know, we the uh, the thorn in Esau's side, you know, Esau's side, man. You know, we tell him he, he a dog out here. You know, he the devil. You know, he the wicked. And, you know, that's contrary to his new world order, man. You know, he can't have that going into his next phase. Or, you know, he think it's going to be the age of Esau forever. But, you know, we know the age of Jacob is right on his heels. And, you know, just because Jake don't know what's going on, Esau, Edom, the high elite, you know, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, they know these prophecies. And they doing, they think they doing anything they can to try to uh, overturn them. But hey, little do they know, the most I got them in a trick bag. Excuse me, hold on. Yeah, I got uh, two more verses in that Ezekiel 33. Okay, kind of. Hey, but if I could uh, say real quick, just to back up what you just said, how they're throwing out these bu buzzwords like Insurrection Act and NDAA and martial law. There's somebody I know in the world who, who knows nothing about the truth. I was, I was talking to them recently, and they were talking about how, hey, expect uh, Trump to enact martial law, so expect uh, the news to get shut down and uh, you not be able to call me or me not be able to call you just a complete media blackout. Hey, that's a, that's a heavy spirit going on out here, people expecting something 
really uh, severe like that to take place. And through these mm -hmm. prophecies, we know that those things are going to take place. But uh, this is uh, Ezekiel 33 and 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Now, yeah, so we like, we can talk to Jake and try to break down all the scriptures we want to until we blew in the face. At the end of the day, Jake going to do what he want to. And, you know, and once uh, he's sitting there and he and he see this famine hit, which is 2021, they dub it's going to be catastrophic. A biblical of the earth. Real, like I said, biblical proportions. When you sitting there starving and your ribs showing, like I said, you're going to know a prophet been among y'all, man. Y'all going to know we told you you know, way before the end, you know, like I said, a wise man, he would at least got a little, put a little something away. We ain't saying go out and get you two, three years worth of food or something, but you know, just something for your every day. You know, if you got a little bit extra, put it away, but you know, man, the Lord, we ultimately trusting in the Lord. We ain't trusting in now and our food and our, and our bowls and stuff like that. But, you know, if you was wise, had a little bit of sense, you would have put a little something away. But you're gonna you're gonna be thinking about that once uh flies all around your face and nets all in your eyes when you about to uh expire, you know, because <laughs> you ain't eight, you're gonna die of malnutrition. I got that proverbs for you. Okay. It's Go proverbs, it's proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, so the man who actually you know, taking heed to these warnings from the prophets, you know, keeping the most high words to the, you know, best of their abilities because we here in this, in this hell Babylon. You know, if you uh you, you meditating on these scriptures, but, you know, the most high is going to be with you in that day. But the simple, they're going to pass on. And the simple is one who walk by, laugh and scoff, talking about brothers got dresses on, you know, or hey, they like they look to the right, they let the window down and, and listen. But hey, they going straight down the bourbon and be completely wicked down there. They matter of fact, they're going past, they going to the barricade side over there <laughs> in the very part, dark part of bourbon, you know, continuing yeah. their wickedness. You know? Yeah. So y'all gonna pass on. That's what all these uh these body bags for that they ordered, you know, and these uh big these big plastic coffins they, they got stacked up. You know, you simple ones, you're going to be passed on and thrown into them pits and these big plastic coffins that's coming up. That's, in which they probably blowing the do dust off of right now as we speak. You know, so, Jake, you're going to pass on, man, because you didn't take heed to the warning. You know, the two-thirds has already been factored in. And no matter where you at, Jake, you're going to get it, man. Uh, I know. got another one, in, uh, one off the comment board. Okay. This is so, a so when I got this is uh, the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 16. I'm going to start at the top and read on down to three. It says the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desire him, Yahweh that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, when it is evening, ye say it will be a fair weather for the sky is red. And in the morning it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites. You can discern the face of the sky, but can you not discern the signs of the times? And that's our people. You know, it's like what it is about this Babylon place. It just made everybody just ignorant. I don't know what. You know, even your, not just Jake, it's just your average uh, knucklehead American. They don't know what's going on. They don't know anything. All they know is, is talking points from the news, mainstream media. But our people, they they can't discern no kind of times, man. They just uh, you know, just dump to the fact if it ain't got nothing with doing with NBA young boy or something like that, or or whatever kind of foolishness Jake into these uh reality TV shows, you know, they they will burst into that. But they, as far as political things that's going on, they don't have no understanding. You know, they can't comprehend nothing like that. They can't put it together. You know, they just think we're just going through a bad time because Trump in office. But 
hey, it's just gonna get worse no matter who we in. Okay. That's why the scripture said that uh you know a prudent man hiding himself, but the simple are punished, man. They don't they can't discern time. And this the brother Kabar off the comment board, this Ecclesiastes eight and five. Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing, and a wise man heart discern both time and judgment. So and the commandments actually help you to be wise to discern. Like we open with a uh, with Second Ezra nine, you discern the times, you measure the times through the prophecies. When you keep the commandments, you you meditate in the precepts daily. You're in the scriptures. You know what time it is. But Jake, that that's not in the truth. They have no understanding whatsoever. They don't. They don't even know who the Edomites are. They don't know that they're in Babylon. They don't know Babylon is the last kingdom of the heathen. They don't know Babylon's going to be destroyed. They don't. They don't understand what's going on. They don't discern the times because they don't keep the commandments. You got it up. Yeah, because uh, you know the ones if they was discerning the times, you know we would have a line wrapped around the corner. Yeah, you know it wouldn't just be the few brothers on the other side out there, you know who come out. It would be you know it'd be all the way down the pointers wrapped around the line, and you know all the way down vice versa. You know, but it's not. Jake just keep continue walking by, and hey. You know, steady sweeping the street or steady begging for change, man. Yeah, because I remember like right before that first lockdown, we went out there. We were like we were expecting Jake to really inquire, you know, because the NBA was shut down. Like it was unprecedented prophecies. We just knew Jake was going to be coming up asking questions. Jake is still just gone, man. The mm -hmm. Lord actually has them blinded and sealed to receive that destruction. There's nothing they can do about it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's a that's the people, man. They they gonna continue to do whatever they want to do. Jake just always had that mentality, you know, in his spirit. He just wanted to do what he wanted to do. He ain't really concerned about nothing but but his woman, and you know, and uh, feeding his belly. And that's Jake' main two concerns on this planet. You know, he ain't looking to turn back and please his power. You know that I got no interest with Jake. Jake is all about himself, involved in it, wrapped in himself. You know, and, and being wicked as possibly can be. I got one for you. Yeah. All right, you got it. Okay, this is a uh, Isaiah thirty verse nine. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh, which say to the seers. See not into the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Yeah, Jake wanna hear the smooth things in life. You know, uh that everything's bouncing back, body gonna get in, and you're gonna have the, the best forced eight years of your life, you know. That's what they wanna hear. They wanna hear it. The hand, everything's gonna go back, uh, back to uh, pre Katrina days. They want to hear that, you know, they want to hear <laughs> that there's no end, you know, to uh, to the food supplies, and you know, there's no end to uh, you know, just money, uh, unemployment checks or some shit like that. They, they want to hear that it's always gonna flow forever, man. You know, they don't want to hear that they're not gonna get uh, thrown out on the streets, that uh, all hell's about to break loose. They, they just want to go to church on Sunday with a nice suit on, they, they lime green suit and that big hat and just uh, jump up and down all day, run up and down the aisle screaming, you know, but, but you ain't going to get that. You're going to get the complete opposite. You're going to get uh, puppy dog tears and screaming and hot squalling like we say back at the house, you know, <laughs> that's all you're getting. You want me to enjoy all, all that five, 10, 15 year plans y'all niggas got. You, you think you're about to cash out on your life and your, your whole life insurance policies and all this kind of stuff. And you're going to ride into the sunset being wicked. <laughs> all them plans is about to go away. Hey. You know, oh, what you got? Oh, you got it. You know, so what, what all, whatever kind of plan you had, besides turning back. To your power and find these law statute commandments and ordinances you know it's it's about to be uh it's about to be egg on your face um. you know? 
Yeah, I was just going to say, hey, the, the most high is going to cash out your life insurance. He's going to take you straight off this earth and bring you back to the spirit world. Mm -hmm. But this is verse 11. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Yeah. You know, uh, but that's what it's going. Hey, read that again. I, I, was, kind of, I was looking at something. Isaiah 30, verse 11. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Yeah, you know, turn out of your, your uh, wicked ways, Jay, man. You know, get out, get out of the way of a harm's way. <laughs> you know, like the Esau, you don't like to say, get out of harm's way, run back to the right way, ask for the old path, you know, uh, the old way, which is the good way. Hey, but Jake, but but Jake says, hey, hey, uh, we don't want to hear that. Get, we we don't want to hear the truth. Turn turn that aside. Get that out of the way. Prophesy unto us those sweet things, as a brother said in the comment board. Give us give us Grand Theft Auto Seven. Give give us a PlayStation Five. G give us a Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Give me some grape swisher mm -hmm. sweet, the NBA, and some some uh, fat booty chick with a yeast infection. Yeah, yeah, let me get that Jeremiah 6 and 16, right? <laughs> That's what they want. You know, instead of you want to know what Biden got during his first hundred days or, you know, or what Trump master plan going on, you know, this is what you should be uh, worrying about, man. This is what you should be inquiring about, Jake. Who got the 6 and 16? I got it. Okay. The book of Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. Thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein? Yeah, and that's what you need to be worried about. Ask him when, when coming out there, you need to be asking what's the old path, you know, which is the good way. You're not worried about the inauguration. Now, who uh, uh, Biden, who going to point to his council and who gonna be in his cabin and all this kind of crazy, this madness, man? You need to be worrying about these laws. That's that's your only concern as a man in this nation, you know, or woman at that fact. You know, that's what you need to be worrying about. Nothing else. Everything else to just be is is for the heathens out here. God. You know, they what they got going on don't concern us. We a whole different world. God. You know, but Jake don't want to. Jake don't get that. Are you say something about what? Yeah, this is their world, and their world is ending. Our world is the mm -hmm. kingdom of heaven, which is an everlasting righteous world. So if it's two two different worlds going on and you're an Israelite, what, what manner of person ought you to be, man? The fashions of this world are clearly fading away, and you're trying to hold on to it? That's that's off. But it says this, where is the good way and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. And that's what this gospel does. The scriptures are rest for our souls. We know the end, the end of a thing. We know that there's a, an everlasting kingdom promised to us after this place is destroyed. That's why this, this marvelous light is a rest for our souls. Jake is twisted and turmoiled and just being turned every which way because they don't have a rest for their soul. Their rest is Joe Biden, the Democratic Party. You know, they're, they're just gone, man. It says, uh, but they, oh, you want to say something? Oh, no, no, you got it. I'll go. I was just say, uh, uh, because somebody heard that, Michael 2 and 10. All right, gone. you got it. It says, but they said, we will not walk therein. Also, I set watchmen over you saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. And say, we're blowing that trumpet week in, week out. Yeah. Not just us, all over the world. You know, but hey, like I say, Jay stuffed their ears, roll their window up, or turn the uh, radio up even louder, walking by with their uh, boom boxes, you know? <laughs> that, that's what they do. They say, we don't want to hear that. This is stumbling, bro. I got you something too. Mm -hmm. I okay. got that. Good you want it. Okay. You got it. Look. You want him you to go? Guy, yeah. All right, come. Uh, I got like you. Y'all can hear me because I had mute on, but I go ahead to you. Go ahead. It's all. Uh, but like you said, I, you know, Jake. You know, Jake came by with a boom box we never saw before, bro. Like, <laughs> right? Jake really living in a, and those boom boxes came out when. You know, our uncles, you know, mm -hmm. really coons, all right, when they had on those silk tink top shirts, man. 
Then and mm-hmm. we saw Boombog like like that at uh camp yesterday. Just to let you know our people are living in the past, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I would some of our people uh have an issue with things progressing and, and changing. See, the prophets adapt. We're the same prophets, but to every captivity, we have adapted in it, man. All right, and got used or uh, accustomed to what's to come. Meaning we gotta make adjustments on the fly. We probably the most adjustment making people as we go, even though the word is the same. We still adjust with the ways we do things, how we bring the word out, you know, et cetera. But this aim is six and three. It says, ye that put far away the evil day and cause the seat of violence to come near, that lie upon beds of ivory and stretch themselves upon their couches and eat the lambs out of the flock and the calves out of the midst of the stall. You want to see something? I don't know. You got it. Well, I say they lie on their beds of ivory and scratch themselves up on their couches. Yeah, with they, you know, they blunt, you know, they, they, they weed, they, you know, they bowl of cereal, right? And they just scratch on the couch and just, you know, where's the evil day? Let it come nigh, right? They don't, they don't believe it's going to come because Jake got on pipe dreams. So Jake believe in those things that he going to accomplish, you know, but you're not going to accomplish nothing you set out to accomplish, Jake. Because it's not of the word. It says to chant the sound of the vile and to invent themselves on imp- instruments of music like David. Like that man walked by with the mm. with the boom box, bro. You know, mm-hmm. he, he, you passing the prophets up, and the, and the father used the boom box to get louder to drown out the word of salvation to you. And you just walk by salvation, man. All right, now, want to believe, well, how y'all know y'all going to be the one? Well, we believe we got the word of the Lord, and the word of the Lord is salvation. His name is Yahweh All right, he is the word. It says that drink wine and bowls and anoint themselves with the chief ointments, but they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. So, you know, that was the point. I want to keep going, but that's the point. You know, Jake, music, uh, music, sports, and and drugs, man, and and J. Cool, Jake will stay in captivity the rest of his existence, man. You got it, bro. That's it. Like you say, drugs being one of the main things keep keep Jake here forever. You know, if he can uh get the best, whatever they call it, Kush, whatever they want to call it these days, <laughs> hey, he'll stay here, man, <laughs> for eternity. You know, just keep coming back, being wicked as hell every time. Yep, that mm-hmm. big booty woman. Yeah. I had a Get- preset real fast, too. Uh-huh. A small booty woman. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> any kind of- <laughs> right. This second Chronicles 36 and 15, it says, And the Lord, Yahweh of their father, sent them by his messengers, rising up uh, 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 betimes, all right, and sinning because he have compassion on his people and on his dwelling place, but they mock the, the messengers of the Lord, all right, and despise his words and misuse his prophets, you know, and another form of misusing us, coming up to the scoffing, raising up the music on your boom box, doing all sorts of manner of, uh, of wickedness, man. You on a, you got one nigga come by every week. He's a red, He's a residential demon, man. The downtown <laughs> comes by mm. on his job, all right, with a fucking damn that Nokia phone to his head, scoffing, talking about the flat earth, man, and talking about how he make he make millions of dollars, but he only make eight dollars or seven dollars an hour, man. <laughs> you know, misusing the prof- misusing the profits until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people, till there was no remedy, man. And that's what's finna happen. No remedy. The Lord is finna bring down, man, on the nation of Israel, really the whole world. All right, across the board. The Lord is finna hit everything across the board to the uh, unto those who uh who are misusing and and and, and don't believe in His word, man. Because we didn't have what for the last two three weeks we didn't have people come out there and say the Bible is a a fairy tale. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, it's a make believe book, man. You know, but go ahead, like you got it. Yeah, if I could add to that, like that, uh, that one Edomite come up to talking about, oh, it's great literature. 
like it's just a everyday uh love novel or something uh a goosebumps you know story or something you know you're gonna see how great it is here real soon you know <laughs> when you're getting your head kicked in by these troops yeah, that's on the streets you know you get yeah. kicked in your ass within the ass, man. Right. Right. <laughs> oh Lord, really doing your egg. You got you looking like an egg with jeans on. Yeah. Coming yeah. by talking shit against yeah. the men of the Lord, man. <laughs> nigga can't you can't even get that, that belt from wrapped right around your nipples, nigga. But you got you know, you want to talk shit and look crazy at the, the prophet. We should be looking at you crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> you got a size 50 waist jeans, 50 by 32 uh size jeans, man. <laughs> on your ass, man. Oh shit! But at the end, of, like I said, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, man, the law is gonna kill people like that, man. Yes, the law is going to kill people. You read if you go read uh, Isaiah the sixty third chapter, man. Isaiah uh, what sixty five or sixty six and fifteen? The law is gonna kill people when he come back, man. I mean, really put people to death, and he if for. Uh, your everyday Christian, they can't believe it. That's that just far from their mind, man. You know, but go ahead, I can got it. I ain't gonna keep going on. Mm-hmm. Let me get that uh, mic up. Uh, yeah, um, that's what's happening, man. You go ahead. Huh? This is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. You mind if I read verse 11 too? Okay, go for it. Okay. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. Yeah, this uh hellhole known as America, man. It, it is. You know, it will destroy you, whether it's from the chemicals in the foods, the air, the soaps, the toothpaste, you know, down to the women, everything, anything you can think of is all polluted. Cell you phones, know? all that shit, man. Mm-hmm. There's nothing here that's good for you. You know, we even though we do have vitamins and stuff like that, but even they pollute it to a certain extent. They still have, you know, traces amounts of arsenic and other kind of things, you know, in it. You know, so yeah. a lot of that shit, a lot of that shit, man. When it comes to these different herbs, because Jake think they really getting the herbs out of Walmart, man. What is it, what is, mm-hmm. what's the name of that one brand that Walmart use? Countryside or some shit. Well, I forgot the name of the damn brand. It's been the green bottle. Jake think that's really some herbs and shit. That shit is tainted and watered down, man. You know, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of time when you know when it comes to healing the body and stuff or helping brothers out, you know, I used to have a you know a website I used to get shit from South America, man. That shit was potent and strong, man. Because ain't nobody over there messing with the uh, the herbs and stuff, man. Over here, you got planes flying, chemicals flying over it, putting pesticides and shit on it, and they're weak. They ain't strong, man. You know. Now, I'm gonna say this too. A lot of that it's been it's been it's been shown by various other camps. All right, it's been talked about by this camp and many other camps in GMS. That even that even that um organic shit is tainted, man. That shit ain't you know they'll tell you it's organic, but it's really GMO shit, man. Mm. You know this this is the devil. Just like in Deuteronomy, it's a it's a law it's a law telling you that you can um, one of your brothers can find it too. And you can give your slaves whatever you want to give them, man. You know, for us feeding them, and see that's how that's how the, the these Malachites think too, man. They think you are going. I can give you, I can give you garbage, man, if I wanted to, man, and they do it. That's why the Lord said we shall eat our bread to follow amongst the uh, the heathens, man. Hey, if I if I could just back you up on uh even this uh so called natural and organic stuff being tainted as well. There's a book that came out in the early two thousands called Fast Food Nation which said the only difference between labels saying artificial ingredients and natural ingredients depends on the chemical they use. It could be the exact same thing, but they used one different chemical here. So they, they were allowed to say it by law, uh, natural ingredients instead of artificial. Yeah, I got the law. Yeah, bring it out. Huh? This is uh, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 21. You shall not eat of anything that dieth of itself, Thou shalt give it unto the stranger that is in thy gates, that he may eat it, or thou mayest sell it unto an alien, for thou art an holy people unto Yahweh. One more time, huh? Yes, you can feed it. And we're gonna do that, man. We're gonna practice that to the to the to the to the to the core, man. Yeah. 
in the, in the nation when the, in the, when the kingdom come, we are gonna give our heathen slop, man. They gave us slop in in, in in slavery. Whether it was hardcore slavery, they gave you niggas shitlings, mm-hmm. pork chops, gizzards. I mean, uh, uh what is not gizzards, but uh, all manner of different slop of the pork, man. Hog moths. Yeah, they gave you niggas that shit. You had to survive on that. Now you ain't in hardcore slavery. You don't have to eat that shit, but you still eat it, man. Then you then they give you the, the spice, GMO foods and fruits and shit. So we're gonna do the same thing to them heathens, man. We're gonna get them whatever manner we, we, we choose to give them, man. You know? Read it again, I okay. it's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 21. Ye shall not eat of anything that dieth of itself thou shalt give it unto the stranger that is in thy gates that he may eat it or thou mayest sell it unto an alien for thou art in holy people unto yahweh thy power strange and the alien is the heathen man the, the moabites the edomites ishmaelites so on and so forth man all right those that are outside of nation israel we're going to do that all right the first thousand years we're gonna get busy, man. We're gonna you gonna give you some shit that died of itself and sit back and laugh at you, man. Why is you laughing at me, my lord? Man, that shit died ten months ago, man. That I'm giving your ass. <laughs> you know, that's how we're gonna be. Yeah. You better not spit it out. You know what I'm saying? You better eat that shit, man. You know? <clears throat> but that's but but that's the same practice that like I said, the higher ups, the uh, the Wahlbergs. All right, the Gettys, the Duponts, the uh, the, 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 the ships, and those very other high up nations. That's how they. That's how they uh, think of, think of you, man. Even they own yep. people, they give you slop, man. What you yep. about to say? No, that's right. They uh, cause you look on expiration dates on some of these drinks and shit we be drinking. Who says that they printed on that is is the expiration date? You know, mm-hmm. but but the Lord do what? The Lord bless his men. You know, the Lord bless our foods we eat, man, to, to keep us, man. You got it out. I was going to say, too, before I give it back to the brother, I remember a while back I was studying, you know, and you you go look on the various, like these cereal boxes and a lot of food, they have a cross on that. They might have a K or they might have a C on it. You know, that was these, that was these uh, Amalekites was giving code to each other what what and what not to eat amongst the, uh, the heathens, man. That's key codes for them. It's only different foods and products, man. It's kosher to eat. It's not full of poison. And that's how they know what to eat amongst us, man. And I know you brothers have seen it before, right? You wonder yes. why it's a little cross on the food? And a little a little K. A little K and a little C, man. Bowl K. Mm-hmm. You know, that's letting them know it's kosher, so on and so forth, man. You know, these, these, these Amalekites are real diabolical, man. They don't give a damn. They don't give a damn about their own people, man. Let alone yeah. one of us, man. That's why you heard your boy before. Uh, I let you brothers hear a while back. Your boy Rabbi Fekelstein. See, what about a Negro, man? All you gotta do is give him some. They, 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 they can dance. They got a good two step. They can make some good barbecue. Yeah. All you gotta do is give him a contract. You got him, man. But go ahead. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's serious, true though, man. Yeah, that's Jake. Simple as hell. It don't take much to please Jake, man. Hey, Finkelstein. No. Finkelstein also said that he he wants to pit pit these other Edomites against these Arabs so they can kill two birds with one stone. That's right. It's happening, man. You know, you, like you're saying, you give Jake a pack of swishes, a hundred dollars in an outfit. Hey, he on top of the world. You know, so you know? less than that, right? <laughs> Fifty dollars. Dry season gin. Mm-hmm. On a hot sunny day in a big booty bitch, man. He, he you got him, man. Ooh. He do whatever. Him. A swanky ride with some rims and some oh, cheap ass Walmart sound. Man. Right? <laughs> and a water down, a water down ass daiquiri, man. You got a nigga, man. <laughs> yeah. Be punch the fishbowl daiquiri too. Yeah. That, or whatever that is. <laughs> Good. Yeah, man. Oh, God, you got a nigga. It, it don't take much, especially down here in New Orleans. These got to be the some <laughs> these jakes down here, some of the so called hardest, but yet some of the so called weakest and easy to influence. Man, you give a nigga mm-hmm. a music contract, you got him. Crawfish, you got him. <laughs> yeah, crawfish. You give a nigga crawfish, 
All right, a shrimp pole bar with a with a big shot cold drink. This nigga then lost his mind, man. <laughs> and he's brother laughing because they know it's true, man. Jake, Jake knows it's true down here, man. Very low standards. <laughs> yeah. You give a nigga a half a key of any goddamn mm-hmm. drug, you got that nigga, man. Hey, that, nigga ready, that nigga ready to set his mom out, man. <laughs> Especially them niggas uptown. Them niggas uptown, the, the biggest goddamn rats in the whole city, man. <laughs> Man, they do the most shit. They do the most shit. Yeah, they be doing the most, the most killing down here and everything. They do the most shit. It be the first thing on Force Forty Eight, eating red lobster, chilling on everybody in the organization, man. A cigarette. And, and a cigarette. Give me a cigarette. I'm, I'm, I'm about to. You know that's when Jake about to break down when yep. you get a cigarette from the enemy. See, yep. just, just need a cigarette. That's it. Say, bro, Jake give me some red lobster. I'm about to tell you everything. Yeah, I'm about to tell you yep. the truth. Yeah, and when a nigga sit back like this, a nigga <laughs> always sit back like this with his hand behind his head. That's when you know you in the fucked up, you're in danger with that nigga, man. He finna tell everybody, he been telling everybody, man. That nigga that killed everybody uptown, got a whole graveyard in his belt, man. But you gotta go to prison. Tell him what your boy said, man. Your boy, uh, your boy, you know, huh? Kayak, your boy said, I right, stand over you with that eye. Yeah, I stand, stand over you in court, man. Yeah, I stand, I, I, I stand, I, I down. No, he said I down you on the stand, which he getting on the stand and prove y'all. Yeah, that's the nigga who killed him or did whatever. And he said I stand over you with that that half a man, like mm-hmm. I kill you in either way. Play with me, you hear me? And niggas, re- nigga, the verdict <laughs> is out. That niggas respecting him, like cause he official like that. But what the fuck? <laughs> what make you real now, like? You you ratting? You saying, look, I down you with them people, and I down you with that man. That half, I'm like, what? <laughs> How you win, Jake? You that's a lose. This you got it out. Losing. Nah. You <laughs> losing. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, nigga say that like, and nigga like, oh, I'm your. <laughs> <laughs> I tell on you and smoke. You can't beat that shit. That's a nigga from hell. Beat right? that. How you gonna how you gonna defeat some shit like that, bro? <laughs> you might well come in. You might well serve the law. You can't you can't fight against these niggas, man. These niggas are strong out here, man. Right. These niggas are off. These niggas these niggas out here in the streets are offensive line, the NFL offensive line. Man, niggas strong as hell, man. Mm-hmm. You know, like the brother say, you give Jake a, a, a you get you give Jake a, a milk and magnesia white woman with some shell like, and the big <laughs> ass you got him too. I forgot about that, man. <laughs> Ain't it? You got a nigga, man. But go ahead, like you got it though, brother. <laughs> hey, crazy, yeah. bro. I got yeah, some more, Micah. Micah. Yeah. No yeah, I just got verse eleven in Micah too. Okay. If a man walking in the spirit and falsehood do lie, saying, "I will prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink," drink, he shall even be the prophet of this people. Yeah, you know, prophet. That's all Jake want to hear, man. He want to hear uh, somebody saying, "Hey, you know, have a good time, have a good life, turn up some more." You know, Biden got eight years this time. You know, Democrats in power. This place ain't never going down. You know, uh, or on the other hand, for the other Jakes who who on the uh, other ticket, you know, Trump he, he gonna make America greatest. It just ain't gonna be great no more. It's gonna be even greater than before. You know, so that's what our people want to hear. They want to hear Esau eat him, man. He want to. They want to hear what he got to offer his benefits. You know, they they want to continue on his plantation. You know, and that that'll be the profit of these people. You know, and we do have it in our nation. Nate Satan, you know, he tell him, hey, keep keep on in this world, man. Keep going. That's why they having dances, dance offs and shit. You know it <laughs> at the uh Passover. You know <laughs> that that prophet. You know it sound better to the ones on the one on this video right now. So that's why you see a big flux going to them. But hey, you know it looks good. It, it it shines. You know Jake like shiny right. things. Yeah, it's package right, man. Mm-hmm. You no, know, the gift wrap got the big bow. It's package right. That's why Jake run. Jake always about uh who looks good and got the most numbers, man. Mm-hmm. All right. 
But when you, you read the stories of the Lord, the story was told different. The one that they come up the most against, that's where the truth is at, man. All right? The Lord is dealing with a, a small sanctuary. He's not dealing with a number of men marching down Main Street of your major cities, man, giving off military cadence and shit. He got mm -hmm. big-ass Walmart combat roach killer boots on, man. All, All right. right? Stomping and shit. Nigga, the big greasiest sweatiest nigga you can find all right in a major city but yet that's for the true that man you know jake all the way off with the shit bro it's not about it's not about the looks of a thing man you know let me say this the, the guys that think like that that's how they that's how they get their women man because jake always trying to gentrify a bitch man you get a woman you look at the outside of the woman she look good but emily she just she got rotted thighs her mind all jacked up she can't think herself out of a wet paper bag with a knife in her hand, man. But that's mm -hmm. what he want to justify. He want to justify a hoe, man. You can't say you can't save you can't save these goddamn women. Unless you can't save America, man. But that's what Jake all about getting soup kitchens, feeding the poor under the bridge. All right, but secretly you ain't even right, man. You still shaving. All right, Jake still eating goddamn pork chops. Mm -hmm. All right. Pork chops and and, and, and macaroni, man. Nice. That's a nigga life. Macaroni for real. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. Jake off, man. Yeah, you hear your brother got some. They can pull it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the right. most high favors the underdog. Yeah. The most high is always about the underdog. The one that you look down upon, the series of men that you look down upon and think, because, you know, they call us bum mites, man. You right? They call us bum. Brother still got the latest iPhone, driving the latest whip. You know, work got jobs probably better than them. Yet we still bums though, man. And then mm -hmm. people, the people that come up to us on the highways and byways, whether they, whatever nation is, they think we homeless, man. They think we out there begging for money with Bibles in our hand, man. Got garments on and stuff. Like we had a we had an individual last night. What his name was? Brad. I forgot his name. Brad. Brad. Brett, yeah, Brett, Brett was out of his body, man. You go back and watch the video from camp that we did, man. I mean, it either way was out of his body, man. He was on that Hulkamania, all, all right. type of drugs last night. And his, yeah, he said, you know, he was talking shit. We got dresses on, and, you know, what else some shit he was saying, man? He was spitting so much. It was just too much back to back. <laughs> yeah, man. It was complete fucking madness. Yeah, you know? Brett, man. Brett was on all type of dope, man. Out his body, bro. Yeah, it's just Brett. Yeah. Like I say, he gonna eat, Brett. I was say, man, the, the, a real man of Lord, mine is focusing on salvation and getting the hell up out this place, man. You know, we look, we looking long for it day in, day in, day it out to get the hell up out of America, man. You know, and Jake looking for you. You, you deal with these Jakes. All right, these politicians, these jakers in politics, they're looking for the next eight years of Joe Biden, man. Like, this guy even having stepped one foot in the office, if he even get in the office, man. Mm. If he even get, they can call any type of damn past uh, bill, that been, you know, the Rex 84 bill, uh, NDA Act. You don't know if this guy will even get in the office. You don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of days, man. It could be a, a mock terrorist attack, whatever, man. And here we go. But yeah, my, Jake mine is, is far out, man. So yeah, like you got it. Right. He was saying Jake mine far off. Like that one Jake came by with last week talking about old Trump, man. He was talking about Trump getting in and hey man, he was happy, man. And not once he was worried about the word, he wasn't concerned about that. You know, he didn't care less about salvation, but hey, his savior Trump was, was in office and possibly reelected, and that's all that mattered. You know, so talking to Jake is like talking to a brick wall. You know, Jake just, you know, they don't see no value in the kingdom. They just see what's going on in these concrete jungles. You know, that these cities that uh, Esau Edom set up and, you know, his political system, you know, working at his, his jobs and all this kind of yeah. mess. You know, Jake see a lot of hope in that. Jake see salvation <laughs> with Esau Edom. You know, his, he can make it. His kids, kids can make it. 
And you know how people just sick in the head, man. They need to be taken out back, put down like an old dog. You know, there's no reason with these people. Right, but brother got some. I got one. This is uh, the book of James, chapter 4, verse 13. Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. For that you are to go. Hey, you're just a vapor, man. You just here for a moment. Vapor, you, mm -hmm. you see it, you see it one second, the next minute it's gone, man. It's and, we can, and we can see that through the Lord dealing with these uh rappers and entertainers of this and these athletes of this year, man. Lord been smoking people left and right, man. Yeah. 22, 21 years old, 54, 60, you name it. Especially the young ones. He he's an up and coming this, he's an up and coming that. And the Lord get him out of here, man. You know? Mm -hmm. He's an up and coming dead man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Cause you ain't on the, you ain't not on the Lord's type of time. Really, even that day, like I always bring up, a day in itself is a spirit, man. You don't, you know, the, the day, a day in itself already knows what is what's going to become in that day in itself, man. Because it's a spirit, a day is a spirit within itself, man. But here you is, you talking about what you're going to do next five months from now? You don't know if you're going to be on the planet Earth the next two seconds from now, man. You know, you can leave off and go somewhere and never come back, man. You you go meet one of the most Grimiest niggas on the other side of the Mississippi, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Other side of goddamn the Seven Lakes, man. You know, and this mm -hmm. nigga doing all type of man and shit to you, bro. Cause you're not on the Lord's time. You can get in a car accident. All right, somebody can, some wild half blind niggas could be shooting at each other down the street. And you you get hit with a straight bullet. Nine houses down, man. All right. You know. And you got, and like I said, it's an insult to the most high. That's why we, that's why we always say, Lord willing, man. Hey, Lord willing, not if we get to do that, uh, that video. Lord willing, not if we get to go here. Cause we get, we give the homage to the most high because we know we on the most high side, man. The most high can smoke us if he want to, man. All right. If he want to. And who are we? Hey, give me, um, I think it's Ecclesiastes 8. Real fast. Eight and uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's eight. Talking about a uh, retaining spirit in the body. Yeah. Gone. Okay. This Ecclesiastes eight, and I'll start at seven. For he knoweth not that which shall be. For who could tell him when it shall be? There is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit. Neither hath he power in the day of death. Yeah, you don't have power. To to the most high, no, I ain't giving up the ghost, man. You're going to give up the ghost. That second, man. You, It's not going to be a second too late. You're not going to argue with the most high, all right, or with the death angel or whatever to get your ass to the spirit world, man. You're going to give up the ghost, man. That's why, you know, the spirit has it going this way. That's why you got you to give, you know, uh, thanks to the creator, man, that you, you know, you're able to breathe. You're able, you're able to operate on his time, man. All right? That's why you say, Lord will, man. I'm gonna do this or do that. Lord will, the Lord allows me to do this, man. You got these proud niggas out here thinking they on their own time because you have this, this misconception around here in America that people have free will. That people can go out and do what they want to do, uh, say what they want to say, and, and, and it's go on about. And like I said, you always ask this mystery question. If you have free will, then why do you die, man? Because if I had free will, one of the first things I want I wouldn't want to happen to me is, is, is to die, man. I would want to live forever to do what I want to do. But you don't have that luxury to do that, man. You have liberty. Everybody has liberty, but you don't have free will to do what you want to do, man. You know? Let me see. Oh yeah. My brother said the most I can put your ass in a wheelchair. Just to preserve your head from uh for the for the missiles, man. We've seen it. Yeah, you know, right. like, like like that Boosie guy, man. The Lord set him up for the day of the Lord, man. You got it already gave you diabetes and high blood pressure. Now you even got a shot to the leg. You can't use that leg. And we right running coming from Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. So all that wild gun toting 
pistol play shit you be talking, you ain't gonna be able to do all that, man. You know? The Lord, the Lord is a, it's a, it's like the verse here, the king of terrors, man. The Lord is a, it's a, it's a straight <laughs> set up artist. You know, he's, he's a man, he's a man amongst men, man, when it, you know, when it comes to playing on his chest, on his chessboard, man. He got, he got all the moves for you, man. We got brothers in. We got brothers in the camp that love to play chess, man. You can't play chess with the Most High, though. You never win that one, man. <laughs> no, never win that one, man. Even when you think men not watching you, uh, the Most High is not watching. He got you, man. Oh, they, the brother said Seattle Snake. Oh, he Seattle oh, Snake yeah, found out the hallway. Yeah, that nigga <laughs> nose dive over five over five story building, man. Lord, then I broke every bone in his body. You know. The Seattle Snake. Boy, I ain't hear I ain't hear about him in a long time, man. Is he still alive? Seattle Snake may be dead right now, man. But go ahead, Doc. You got it. Yeah, they were saying you can't uh like you, you making plans for next year. You know, you you can't uh you can't tell the most uh, you ain't ready to go yet because Biden ain't got into the office yet. You know, <laughs> you were just about to get that contract. And we're going on. You about to get signed and got a two year deal with Nike. You can't tell the most high. Hold on, wait. I, I got to sign these papers first Monday morning. Hey, like I said, he can zap your ass right now. You know, so hey, you ought to be uh, <laughs> getting into these prophecies and, like I said, hiding yourself from yeah, what's coming. Hey, somebody give me, um, somebody get second address, uh, four, I think it's four, four and five down to seven. You want, you want to bring that out first or you want me to get what I got? Oh, you go uh, for it. You can, you, can, you, can, <laughs> you can get it real fast. This should be real quick. This prop? Oh, all right. Okay, this second address four, verse five. Yeah. And I said, tell on, my Lord. Then said he unto me, go thy way. Weigh me the weight of the fire or measure me the blast of the wind. Or call me again the day that is past. Then, an then answered I and said, What man is able to do that, that thou shouldest ask such things of me? And he said unto me, If I should ask thee how great dwellings are in the midst of the sea, or how many springs are in the beginning of the deep, or how many springs are above the firmament, or which are the outgoings of paradise, peradventure thou wouldest say unto me, I never went down into the deep nor is yet into hell, neither did I ever climb up into heaven. Nevertheless, now have I asked thee, but only of the fire and wind, and of the day wherewith through thou hast passed, and of things from which thou canst not be separated, and yet canst thou give me no answer of them. Yeah. Yeah, so man, you got only you only gotta deal with deal with the day that you, the second that you're in here, man. You know? Cause you can't, you not, you not far beyond the Most High, man, and, and thinking and, and, and doing things, man. Only the Most High can tell us to tell us the weight of uh, fire and all these other stuff. Man. No, go ahead, Doc. Let me see some. To fix this some. is this is Proverbs ten and twenty seven. It says, "The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, prolonged days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened." So. The fear of the Lord, you know, uh, give you that 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 uh, that mindset to know that okay, you know, whether the Lord want me here or not, then it'll be so. But the wicked day is gonna be shortened, you know, because they count, they pretty much count the the eggs for the hatch, man. Like like uh, Amawa said, they, they we supposed to say if the Lord will, we would do this on today or tomorrow. But Jake got a whole calendar set out like a. A, a, a Babylon mm -hmm. rapper. A rapper mm -hmm. got his whole two years and, and they still booking shows and, and shit, man. Go ahead. Right. He got his whole tour set. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. whole year and a half tour set. It's set. Like, oh, I'm going to be in Sacramento here. That's off, biblically, man. All right? That's mm -hmm. off. You got it, bro. I got, I got one I got one real fast. Going back into uh, the, the set of Ezra's 4, I'm going to read verse 11. It says, how should Thy vessel then be able to comprehend the ways of the highest, mm. and the world being out of the world being outward corrupted to understand the corruption that is evident in his in my sight, man. 
and with question mark. You ain't on the most highest time, man. And like your brother said, a lot of these rap guys, they they, they make a whole list for uh, one year, one or two years on their whole tour, but yet they don't make the tour. They somewhere shot down in the street somewhere, man. Or get arrested or something, or you know. Get, oh yeah, get arrested. You you in you in the, you in the jailhouse. Like uh, Kodak Black, you're not you in a, you in a big house with number booty warriors, man. Right. <laughs> yeah. Trying to put put together an LP in that bitch, man. And you supposed to be in uh Chicago somewhere doing a show right now, but you locked down. <laughs> hey, we had a guy in the camp a long time ago, man. A long time ago. This cat said he the lawyer ain't gonna never put in the debt. Uh, all type of crazy shit. Next thing you know, he's in he's in Angola State pr- Prison now, man. <laughs> you know, he in there with the booty warriors, man. Mm. Fighting over cornbread and shit. <laughs> Jay fighting over Snickers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Snickers and shit, man. Jay tripping, killing each other. I got a real quick. Watch, yeah, watching another man's commissary and shit. That's what you got to worry about day in day day in day out now, man. Yeah. Boy, uh, this Job eight and nine, mm-hmm. for we are but of yesterday and know nothing, because our days upon the earth are as a shadow. Ooh. So, <laughs> so he said, hey, we are but of yesterday. We we as good as the minute we just left. We ain't no good of the minute the next three minutes, right? We just as good mm-hmm. as the last minute. Like, all right, it's what one eleven. You know, we just as good as with the minutes that was behind us rather than what's to come in front of us. You see, we only as good as the minutes that was behind us, man. And we don't know that. We didn't know we was going to be able to reach that, you know. Right. But, but you know, Jake speak out of turn. It's going to say, though, <clears throat> because our days upon the earth are as a shadow. Now, it's been times where I seen my shadow. Then it's been time I ain't seen my shadow. Bro, I ain't seen my shadow in years. Because right. I, like, I mean, if you go inside, you know, at the proper time, you know, whatever, if the moon ain't shining right, there's a chance you see your shadow. There's a chance you'll never see it, bro. All right. Mm-hmm. It says, shall not they teach thee and tell thee and other words out of their, uh, out of their heart? All right. So you got to know what you are then. Like what you saying? The days... The things you are, but yesterday you are nothing. That should teach you that, okay, if I'm not nothing now, all right, compared to the Lord, which is I'm saying, right, then who who's to say what I would be in 10 minutes or 30 minutes? Because it says nothing out of the hands of the Lord to make a poor man rich or a rich man poor or whatever that's coming before you. All right. So we ought to. We ought to count our blessings from yesterday because what? We wasn't supposed, we didn't know we was granted those, you see? Instead of counting our blessings before they hatch, you see? You yeah, got it. I got one on the comment board from the brother Kabar, Daniels 4 and 35, and it says, and all the inhabitants of the earth are imputed as nothing, and he do it according to his will in the yep. army, in the army of the heaven, and yep. among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay in his hand or say unto him, What doest thou? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can ask the most high nothing, man. He completely outside the box. He do what he want to as he will at the drop of a hat. Hey, hey, uh, somebody give me the, the, the corona debt numbers, man. Because all those people that died, they died in the sad part about it. All the dreams and ambitions they had, they died alone in a room. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Well, nobody plans. can visit them and shit, man. They yeah. had dreams and ambitions to go to college, to see their grandkids, to build this house, get this fancy car and everything, man. And yet, their life was cut off by a moment by a wicked-ass king and leader, man. Esau. Mm-hmm. And that's why they that's why they got them on hospital rules in place like that. No, bro, you, you got to be somebody, wife or husband, the only way you're going there, they ain't even letting children in there. Because you know, doing that coronavirus that, uh, that's, you know, what they doing, you know, we know what they doing. All right, with those ventilators and certain things, they're not letting people come in there and visit, man. All right. Then they have, uh, one of y'all brother posted a video that the, 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 the woman, daddy or something, they saw that they, 
he was going in the back and how they killed him, huh? That was you, Yagana. I think you put yeah, it on now. It pretty much they pronounced they came out there to the weight room and pronounced her dead. He got hysterical and ran in the back past everybody and went in the room and she was still alive, man. Still alive, yeah, yeah. Yep. She was still alive breathing shit, you know. Yeah, that why they, they playing games, bro. With that. But you don't know, just like the Lord knocked Debo out. We didn't know Debo was gonna die, you know, yes. <laughs> Oh, the mm -hmm. Lord just killed Debo, man. In the kingdom of heaven, Debo not Debo. He with his spirit is. He not Debo in the kingdom of heaven, man. You got to do. <laughs> <laughs> the, the most high is a real Debo, man. <laughs> For real. <laughs> he, he, he come to, he's coming to send his son as another Debo, too, to take niggas' crowns, man. And your mm -hmm. life. You know? Niggas going to get that. <laughs> niggas going to get. A lot of you Jakes, man, going to get that wapo zappo, man. Yeah. You know, the Lord gonna zap a lot of you niggas, man, and take your chains, man. <laughs> your brother say he bigger than Debo. He bigger than Debo. Remember, Debo got beat up. Craig beat him up. Yeah, yeah nobody beat, the Lord, he nobody beating Debo. the Lord up on on this one. <laughs> at all. Yeah, like yeah. you were saying, I, these uh, these people had plans, and like I say, I walked past the morgue the other night, and it was filled. You got people in there wrapped up like mummies, waiting to be uh, transferred to the corner. You know, so hey, these people, like I said, the most I can zap you whenever, man. So you you ain't even guaranteed the next couple minutes, or you could just end up in that morgue. I saw all them bodies, like I mean, it was full. How crazy it was in there. Yeah, like I said, those same people had dreams and ambitions to do something in twenty twenty, man. Mm -hmm. they, they weren't even thinking about a corona this or corona that, man. Mm -hmm. Their life got cut off, cut off short. The nigga Tuki, Tuki and Man Man. On the block, they had ambitions to sell all type of drugs, man. They life right. got they life got cut short, man. Yeah, I got you the know? stats. Huh? The so-called statistics. Yeah. It's uh 1.6 million deaths worldwide, 300,000 in America, and uh 6,800 in Louisiana. Yeah, man. So that's a lot of people, man. You know, that's a lot of people that got cut off. You know. Yeah, allegedly. Allegedly, <laughs> man. We, we, we know they out there, you know, <laughs> we know they out there uh, Dr. Kevorkian and people, Dr. Kevorkian and shit out of people, man. In them, in them, in them different uh, rooms and shit, man. That's just one thing about us and Esau. You know, when Esau does something, he communicates on the, on the level of black magic. He tell you what he gonna do before he do it, right? And we the only ones that can see what he doing, man. He know it. When we talk about what the Lord finna do and how the Lord finna crack the clouds and come back, X, Y, Z. He know what we talking about. He know it's true too, man. Only, only you numbskulls out there, you Joe six pack crackers, man. All right, you 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 bald head Italians and and Tyrones out there. You don't know what the hell we talking about, man. You no. Know? And you and like last night, man. You don't never trust a nigga. All right, with a with a uh, Domino's uniform on and a traffic vest, getting slapped. Man. Yeah, <laughs> with the pants sagging. Yeah, with the pants sagging, man. You can't trust niggas like that, man. Yeah, you know that man got slapped down, bro. Lord, uh, on the mud. Yeah, nigga put some real, Nigga slapped him so hard, nigga put sideburns on his head, man. Yeah. <laughs> and the Lord slapped him. He yeah, put the spirit on the nigga, man. whoever to right do whatever to slap. I mean, let's be real. He do everything. We can't mm -hmm. say the Lord ain't doing it. Well, the Lord ain't did that. Well, he summoned, he, he, he gave Satan, uh, he gave his angel Charles to put that spirit on him to do that. So we we going to go that low with it. The law slapped the shit out the dude, huh? Hey man, we be seeing some shit. Hey man, one thing about our block is never dull, man. We see some shit before <laughs> camp, during camp, and after yeah. camp, man. <laughs> right? It's Get it's your sword show. demons. <laughs> Get we your sword the... show. Come on now. Yeah, then we got this residential angel, man. It's be putting niggas in debt out there, <laughs> mm -hmm. making people fall and bust their ass, knock each knock each, knock each other out, fight. All type of shit be going on with us, man. You know, it's all it's all in the it's all in the Lord, man. You know, let me see what the comment boy say. Lord, okay. Do a quick one. So rock thirty four and two say whosoever regarded dreams is like him that catch it at a shadow and follow it after the wind. Because a lot of you know the American slogan, Babylon slogan is what 
the American dream. All right. Even when this man tell y'all certain things, you can make it. You know, you could go to college. You could do this. You could be an NFL star. But really, it's only a certain number of people that really make it. Like it's it's marginalized. So it's what uh I believe in basketball. It's like the draft. I think it's maybe six sixty something players that make it every year. But it's billions of Israelites on earth. All right, mm -hmm. through the draft, I think it's just a couple of people. But they throw them dreams out to Jake so Jake can stay further and sleep in that hip hip um that hip nukes. You got to do it. Yeah, he's saying they sell them tickets to Jake. You know, and yep. Jake, Jake think he can be that rapper. Pipe dream. When, when about ninety seven percent of them just straight trash on the mic. You know, <laughs> but hey, they still think they got a chance of rapping. Yep. You know. And that keeps Jake asleep. You know, he ain't got to have no responsibilities. He could just be a wild type nigga, you know, smoke and drink, pop all kind of whores and all this kind of <laughs> stuff, have no responsibility. And that excites Jake, man. So that's why you still got 70, 80-year-old rappers <laughs> with mixtapes, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> wearing, still wearing your bows and shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man. Yeah. Your bows and tank tops, man. All right, yep. silk do rag on your head. Nigga Ty seen you niggas, man. Hey, ride, ride, riding a low rider bike on uh South Carrollton at the to the Magnolia discount. Yeah, yeah man. Right. Ty seen you niggas, man. Yeah. All right, yesterday Damn. we went to a spot, man. Everything was peaches and cream until like the last couple of minutes of the business opened, and you had every nigga in New Orleans coming at man. I got mm -hmm. you know, I got claustrophobia, man. <laughs> yeah. nigga, man. You got this one big sleazy nigga with a a, a, a tight tracksuit on eating a damn brownie in line, man. <laughs> yeah. well, <it> crazy, bro. <laughs> Remember that nigga, man? Kind of the green. You know? <laughs> yeah. Was, man, that brownie was big as a goddamn uh, 50 inch TV. He's swallowing that bitch down hole, man. Uh, it, 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 you, it pisses off looking at these niggas, man. These niggas are just the Lord gotta kill two thirds of you niggas, man. Hey, you mm. forgot the Jake, the Jake in the corduroy overalls on? Overall, oh, that nigga there. Mm. <laughs> Jake's ready to die, man. Like I said, mm. it, it just like, like like I said, bro. It just when you when you when you be in this thing for a while, man, you start everything starts to aggravate you with Jake, man. Esau, I hate looking at Edomites, man. I hate, right. I hate hitting the conversations at the wiki, man. That's right. Niggas, is, it, it, like you, you're aggravating to the men of the Lord, man. It's it's, it's vanity, man. You no, know, this is shit that's highly esteemed. You you niggas love putting putting titles and on your name, and you uh, heavily boasting people of the world, man. You get tired of that shit, man. Miss ba like like last night, man. On the block, you got you got you got a uh, pinky and you got brain. Two chicks. Feel mm -hmm. like peeking the brain out there, man. <laughs> and they out there talking about yeah, it's a hot girl summer. How you gonna be a hot girl or hot girl or winter girl when you big as a goddamn house, man? You need to mm -hmm. you need to die you need to uh, downsize to a damn apartment, you so goddamn big, man. Right. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you built like a goddamn air fry, man. Yeah. <laughs> you out there want to talk about getting the scriptures, man. Goddamn women, crazy as hell, man. Talking like I said, about they come down here, they come from all over America to come down, even in even in the midst of corona to, to, to get hoard out, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're looking for the they're looking for that that simple nigga, man, that the you know the, the get in the tab and they come out here and wild out, go to the bar, go back to the hotel, and you know, and do their thing, man. This is this is Babylon the Great, man. And this is the shit that the, the men of the Lord. Having all this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you have to sit here and 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 and, and see this shit, man. The hit is hit these different conversations, man. Because we hear some conversations, you know, we right there on Canal Street where Charlie stops at. You can hear all the conversations on the phone, niggas arguing with their baby mama. You got the woman arguing with with her auntie and shit. It's just it's just a combination of things that just vex your spirit, man. It quenches your spirit here, you know. Yeah, it's here from Baltimore, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, the other chick, she look like a, a sick ass Monica, man. With them thin ass finger waves in her head, man. Right. She's crazy, bro. Hey man, you hey man, you 
you got to, hey, man, you got to really be <laughs> in that mode where you vex, man. This place is vexing, man. All at the job. You can't go nowhere, man. This shit is vexing, bro. <laughs> go ahead, yeah. huh? Well, yeah, brothers had anything else? Or y'all go? That's it. pretty much it, hey. man. Hey, like I was saying, this place vexing, and uh, we ready to get the hell out of here. You know, we tired of looking at these wicked Israelites and no dirty sleazy e and the rest of the heathens, man. You know, we just fed up, and we know, you know, Yahweh Shem's on his way, and we ain't got much longer this BS. Yeah, you're you were know, looking at proud, uh, proud Russians and shit too. We had that guy, remember? The guy oh yeah. The camp. Proud, proud is all outdoors, man. Can't accept it. Can't accept the truth. You know that he been lied to all his life. You know, right. but hey, he he been told the people with the pale skin, the true Jews. You know, but now he can't accept the fact that hey, he can't be these the lowliest people on the planet, and it, and it messed up his whole night. Yeah, more like that that guy. You sure how he, how proud he is when another nation comes over here. I, did, I think this guy, he said he's from Russia, but he, I think he was from, more like he's from probably, like, because, uh, you know, Russia all messed up, you know? Yeah, Dr. Eggman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he gets his ass over here living, like, because living in Russia is like living in the worst hoods in America, man, in some parts. He comes over here, he gets a, right, he gets he gets him a belt, some jeans, and a plaid shirt. He come over here, now he's proud as hell, man. Mm-hmm. He want to talk, you know, he want to talk crazy to us, man. Yeah, we got some doctor on. Huh? That's the one with the egg and jeans, huh? Where you say yeah. that yeah. nigga look like an egg and jeans, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, yeah. Humpty Dumpty. Can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, and, and like I said, they come over here, and you you can see it with the women. The women come over here from uh, all these different places, Pakistan and so on and so forth. They humbled over there. They they doing everything that the guidelines to say for dressing and acting and, and, and whatnot. They come over here to Babylon because you can come over here and do whatever you want to do, be whoever you want to be, man. Pursue the American dream and you get and get hoard up, man. Right. But but if they was to go back home to the country with that same shit, they get put to debt, man. No, that's why America got to go, man. This place has to go. <clears throat> And we tell you time and time again, there's no way that the Lord can come back and you can have Esau still in power. Two kings can't rule at the same time, man. Somebody has to go. Somebody has to go, man. All right? But you got it, Doc. When you want to end yes. it out. Yeah, so uh, Esau, he get, Esau getting ready to go. And that's the bottom line. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and close it out. But we pray this uh, video was edifying. And before we get out of here, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Kagodash, double honors to the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone, peace and bless to the sons of Yachim, pushing his truth all over the world. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.